tired of working for someone else and want to have control of your life, limitless income, and time freedom to do whatever you desire, then you will love my latest video on how to build a seven-figure business after quitting corporate. Hi, I'm Jessica Yarbrough, a top business strategist for coaches and consultants who want to sell and scale ultra high end services. That means selling your services for multiple five or even six figures. I've helped my clients ranging from former, former senior level execs to CEOs, CFOs, and more translate their skills and genius into a highly profitable coaching or consulting business. So if you are curious, what is the fastest path to building a seven figure business after corporate, then you will love this video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you know when each of my new videos drop, did you know that nearly half of all senior level executives are unhappy with their work? And it's no wonder while they may be making great money, they often have no control of their time. They're in meetings all day, every day. They don't enjoy the work because the work is running them. They take work home to perform during late evenings, early mornings, or on weekends. They feel trapped and burnt out. And all of this leads to unfulfillment, but it doesn't have to be that way. Look, if you climb to a senior level position in your company, you have real world experience, valuable knowledge and insight and a skill set that can be translated into a coaching or consulting business. This is by far the easiest way for you to build a business without having to learn an entirely new set of skills. Like you would say with starting a drop shipping business on Amazon, you can take the knowledge that you already have and sell it for high value. And what's more is that companies are willing to pay big bucks to outside experts to help their people and organization make strategic decisions, operate efficiently, improve productivity and engagement, roll out new initiatives or any number of things. In fact, us companies spend approximately $58.7 billion on consulting just last year. So whether your strength is in strategy and you have a genius with going into a company to help them understand how to meet their strategic goals, or maybe your strength is in culture and people, and you know how to go develop leaders within an organization, or even if your strength is in systems and operations, and you know how to go in and improve those inefficiencies, creating a coaching or consulting business is a powerful way to not only replace your corporate salary, but to grow a seven figure business. However, launching a coaching or consulting business is not for the faint of heart. Did you know that a shocking 82% of coaching businesses fail within the first two years? Yet there are others who successfully take their genius and turn it into a highly profitable business. So what makes the difference between those who struggle and those who succeed? Well, it all comes down to strategy. The fastest path to creating a seven figure coaching and consulting business is to position yourself to sell ultra high end services. If you turn to the coaching and consulting world, you might see people promoting courses or billing by the hour or even selling smaller packages. But none of that is going to help you make a large injection of cash. The fastest path is to take your genius, build a powerful step-by-step -step solution, and then package it for say multiple five or even six figures. Keep in mind that these companies have big budgets. So if you can come there with a powerful solution that solves their problem, even if your services have a six figure price tag, they will invest just like my client Chuck who was chief compliance officer for a hospital here in the U S he was fed up with the corporate grind and ready to go all in on his own consulting business. He'd been doing some consulting as part of a side gig, but he'd never really made any real money. I showed him how to take his genius and codify it to a next level solution that he felt confident attaching a six figure price tag to the result. He sold two six figure contracts, generating $300,000 with just a few months of working with me. That kind of money was life changing for him. It gave him the cushion and the confidence he needed to hand in his notice, walk away from his corporate job, and it gave him the cash flow to hire key team members to grow his business. 
So let's talk about what an ultra high ticket approach is not. Many other coaching and consulting programs preach the Ascension model, meaning you start with a low ticket offer of $27 or $200 and then you upsell people to a 5,000 and then eventually into a $25,000 program. These kinds of models do not translate well to corporate. In my approach, we take a top-down approach, meaning we flip the model on its head and we go straight for the top selling ultra high-end services. This is a powerful approach for those exiting corporate because it allows you to quickly replace your income by getting injections of large amounts of cash flow, the lifeblood of any business. That simply is not possible when you're selling low ticket offers and relying on a volume based business. This ultra high end approach is also more congruent with the corporate world because they're used to paying outside consultants tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars for support. Keep in mind that companies hire consultants because it is often much more cost effective than hiring an employee. You don't have to pay taxes and benefits and you don't have to onboard them. An outside consultant can bring specialized knowledge and quick and efficient solutions to a company um, that is seeking certain results. It is very attractive for a company to hire consultants over pulling their existing employees' attention away from their projects or trying to hire a new person that is going to be very expensive and take months to put in place. This makes the ultra high ticket model the perfect path for those leaving their corporate job. So selling your services for multiple five and six figures sounds incredible, but how do you do it? There are five key systems I teach to help entrepreneurs successfully step into selling ultra high end services and then scale those services to a high six or even seven figure business. The first system is offer. This is your impact system and perhaps the most important for those exiting corporate. You have a core genius, you have a unique skill set, and you've acquired real world knowledge and experience that can be translated into a powerful solution that companies will pay top dollar for. The first step is to understand what is your core genius and where the gap is in the market that you can fill. This means understanding what type of client you're going to go after and deeply understanding their pains and their struggles along with what their goals are and what their ultimate vision is so that you can then build that step-by-step -step solution to solve it for them. I call this codifying your method. This is how uh, you get your clients results. Next comes the what of your package. This means creating a powerful solution bundled into an irresistible offer that is intrinsically valuable. So then even if you attach a six figure price tag to it, the ROI and the value is so high that the price actually seems reasonable. That's the real art and science of creating an ultra high end offer. And it's something I've been successful at helping my clients do over and over again. I've had clients struggling to sell their services for 3000, 5,000, even $10,000 to turn around and sell their packages for six figures. The second system is equally important to the first. This is marketing. It is your influence system. This system is about creating widespread awareness and excitement and demand for your services. Look, one of the hardest obstacles for entrepreneurs to overcome is the fact that no one knows their name. In fact, one of the most challenging times in a business is really the first three years when you're trying to figure things out and just get people to pay attention to you. Many people get caught in the trap of the generalist and they stay stagnant for years. In fact, I teach a concept called the ladder of influence where I break down the four levels of influence and the challenges at each stage and how to successfully ascend up to grow your influence and authority so you can make seven figures. Be sure to download a copy of this free 33 page guide. The link is pinned in the comments below. Our marketing system solves this by creating expert positioning of not only you as the coach or the consultant as the expert, but also the person that's really going to deliver a transformational experience for your clients. We also create expert positioning of your method, your step-by-step -step solution. In this system, we also help you create an audience of people who are going to listen to you, trust you, and ultimately buy from you. Keep this in mind. You do not have to have a massive following of a million people to have a seven figure business. You can actually have a relatively intimate audience and have a multi-million dollar business.
I call this becoming a micro influencer. First, you need the right message, and then you need to create a high amount of relevancy to connect with your audience. Simply put, you need to be highly relevant to the people that matter most. 90% of coaches and consultants who are struggling fail to effectively communicate their value. They often run out of runway before ever even taking off. They never have the chance to even close because no one books a call. They don't have leads. This is why it's so important to have the right message with the right market coupled with the right positioning. When you have this system dialed in, you will have an audience of raving fans that will book calls, buy from you and refer others to you. The third system is sales. This is your money system. Many coaches and consultants struggle with a sales conversation, not because they're not good at what they do, but because really stepping up and owning their worth and being able to articulate their value is something that they have not yet mastered. You have to master high-end sales because sales are simply a transference of certainty and confidence. The person purchasing, they need to feel certain that you are the very best person who can help them solve their problems. This is the only way that they're going to hand you multiple five or even multiple six figures. The way that you sell to an individual, say on a phone call, is very different than it's going to be when you are, say, creating a pitch deck and doing a formal presentation to a group of decision makers. It's important that you know how to do both successfully. Mastering your sales conversation is key so that you can demonstrate your authority, articulate your solution, and present a powerful set of deliverables, deliverables excuse me, that gets a yes from the client. The fourth system is systems and team. If you want to build a seven figure business, you absolutely have to have the right systems in place and you need the right team to support you. Cash flow is essential to placing the right team members. Systems are essential to free up your time, to automate when necessary and delegate wherever possible. Having great systems is probably one of the most overlooked aspects of growing a successful business. I tell my clients that 80% of all sales happen before a conversation ever even occurs. Not only do you need to have your marketing, messaging, and positioning dialed in, but you need to have the right systems in place to support your awareness campaign. This is one of the most complex aspects of what I teach. It is also the most time consuming, but it is the one that creates the most freedom for the business owner because it allows you to remove yourself as the bottleneck wearing all the hats and into a position of a true CEO, driving vision and serving your clients. The final system is delivery. This is your scale system. So many coaches and consultants are focused on more and more acquisition of new clients. And look, getting new clients is wonderful. But in order to grow a sustainable business, you have to focus intently on the delivery side. It's a dance between acquiring and also delivering. And this is especially true for those of you wanting to enter the high ticket space. If your clients are handing you a ton of money for your time, then there are big expectations attached to working with you. And you need to make sure that you do everything in your power to help them get results. You must have your I's dotted and your T's crossed and create a powerful delivery experience so they get the results they desire and you get outstanding testimonials. One of the things I'm most proud of is that every single person that is onboarded into my program is completely blown away by the level of attention to detail we have on the client delivery side and also how organized we are. This is something that can take years to get right. And one of the benefits with working with a high level coach who's already working with high level clients is that they've done their delivery right and you get to peek behind the curtain and save yourself years of time and frustration as you catapult your business into the next level of not only revenue, but of client experience. Leaving your corporate job to create a seven figure coaching or consulting businesses is one of the most rewarding experiences you can have. Not only do you get to make a massive impact and change people's lives, but you get to do it on your terms. Make the money you desire, work the hours you want, create your life by design. 
If you're curious about how we help our clients translate their genius into ultra high end coaching or consulting businesses, which they can scale to six and seven figures, click the link in the comments below and apply for a call. This wraps up how to leave your corporate job and build a seven figure business. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like or share button. I'd also love to hear from you. What was your biggest takeaway? Leave a comment below until next time.